Hello everyone. Today, I'll show you guys, how we can simply build our own cheap Wi-Fi weather monitor, with the SP1 and OLED display module. Our device will receive weather data from internet, and this process will done by the ESP module. The ESP module has a built-in microcontroller in it, by the help of this microcontroller, we can use the OLED display with it. These components are required for the project. Before soldering the components, I'll upload the program into the ESP module. Basically, ESP1 is a Wi-Fi module that allows microcontrollers access to a Wi-Fi network, and it can also be used as a microcontroller. I'm using ESP1 programmer to program this board. There is a button, I've added to the programmer, which allows me to connect IO0 to the ground pin of the module. To put the ESP module into programming mode, IO0 has to be connected to the ground pin of the module while connecting it to the computer. Now, I'll upload the code. But, before uploading the code few things has to be set. This module needs to be connected to a Wi-Fi network, so, we've to put the Wi-Fi name and password over here. Our device will receive the weather data from a website called Open Weather. So, we've to get the city name, country name, and API code from there, and paste them over here. To get your own API code, you've to open an account to this website. Now, I'll upload this code. To see, whether our module is receiving weather data or not. Don't forget to reconnect the ESP module to the computer. Then open Serial Monitor at 115,200 baud rate. Here is the circuit diagram. Now, I'll connect everything by following this diagram. At first, I'll solder the components like voltage regulator, ESP, and OLED display module to the dotted PCB board. Then I'll solder all the cables by following the diagram.
Finally, our device is ready. Now, let's see, if it works or not. The device is looking pretty much good. Though, nowadays, we have smartphone to see the weather. But, still we can use this tiny device on our desk or somewhere else. To look good, I will attach the device to the 9 volts battery using double sided foam tape. I think, now, it's looking better. That's all for now. Thanks for watching. Stay innovative.